deer and points at it, but then the deer runs from there because of a loud strange voice. She chases it but is unable to catch it. In the meantime, her dog's tail becomes entangled in a trap set by someone unknown. Its tail becomes injured and Nehru applies ointment on it, but then she hears a loud voice from the sky. She sees the sky while moving on to the mountain and sees an alien spaceship. It was of none other than a predator. Let me tell you a predator is the one whose body is like humans but face is like an alien. It is a hunter but hunts every human with weapons, including hunters, because it considers them a threat. That's why it is against them and used to live on another planet. Well, Nehru runs to her brother who is a good hunter and tells him that today she has seen a huge bird in the sky. Actually, she was talking about the Predator's spaceship. The people don't know about the spaceship in this era, so she considered it a huge bird. She says this is a chance for me to hunt something huge, but her brother says you have to hunt something bigger than this. Hunt someone who is your enemy and wants to make you pray. Nehru returns home where her mother is shown who knows medical very well. She knows how to make medicine with herbs, but she doesn't like Nehru to hunt. So she asks her to leave hunting as she is good in many other things except for hunting. So please stop hunting, saying this she sends Nehru to bring a herb that has a flower. The spaceship is shown from which the predator comes out being invisible. When Nehru returns with the herb, she notices the hunters who were her brother's companions running here and there. There was hustle and bustle because a lion has captured one of their companion. Nehru's brother moves to the forest with his companions to find the lion. Meanwhile, Nehru arrives and asks to join them. They refuse to take her with them. But Nehru's brother says if we found our companion alive it is obvious he will be injured so we will need Nehru for his treatment. She knows medical very well and also know very much about herbs. Hearing this, they get ready to take her with them. Then an ant is shown eaten by a mouse, mouse is eaten by a snake and then the predator hunts the snake. The predator was invisible here, on the other hand, they found their companion injured in the forest. Nehru treats him and applies ointment on his wounds. She also gives him the medicine made with the flower herb with which the body of the injured boy becomes cold. Because he can die of bleeding if his body will remain warm. Now they move out with their injured companion to take him to the tribe as the night appears. But Nehru's brother says I am not going with you, I will end the lion after finding it. She tells her brother that she will accompany him because the situation is not simple. He refuses her and moves alone. Now Nehru was moving with others and finds the snake's dead body on the way. It was ended by the predator. She finds the giant footprints and there was blood on the trees. It increases Nehru's suspicion and she feels there is a huge creature or animal. She leaves to tell her brother about danger but she finds her companion and brother on the way. She tells them about the giant footprints and her brother tells we are near the lion's cave. And we must be cautious of our prey, otherwise a moment's carelessness can cost us our lives. Nehru's brother moves near the cave, Nehru, and her companion stay behind. Suddenly, the lion arrives and attacks her companion and ends him. Now its next prey was Nehru, but she makes the lion injured after hearing its voice and attacking her. Then she sees the light in the forest and her attention diverts, she gets faint falling from the tree because her foot slips. She has attacked the lion while falling and Nehru finds herself in her home when she awakes. Her brother has brought her and he comes back to his tribe after hunting the lion. Now he was made a new chief of the tribe for his bravery. Everyone was happy that the danger is over but Nehru wasn't happy as she knows the danger isn't over yet. Then she tells her brother that she has seen a snake in the forest that was divided into two parts by someone. 
I also have seen a strange light in the forest and I think there is something wrong. I think there is a dangerous hunter in the forest and we are unaware of him so we should go back. Her brother ignores her and leaves from there. The next morning, Nehru moves to the forest with her dog. Moving at a distance, she notices the green blood of Predator on a tree. The Predator is seen who is still invisible and hunts a wolf while throwing it at a far distance. Nehru feels hunger so she hunts a rabbit and then eats it while cooking it. The Predator pours acid on the wolf's head due to it, its skin separates then keeps the head bone of the wolf as a reward. Moving on, Nehru encounters many wild cows, which are slaughtered and their skin is removed. She finds a cigarette nearby and it was clear the humans have ended them. She moves forward but then falls into a marsh but then she throws her axe on a tree. She emerges from the marsh while still holding her axe against the tree. After it, she reaches near a stream with her dog and there she sees a bear eating an animal. Before she could hunt the bear the rope of her bow breaks because of being pulled hardly. Now she was stuck because the bear sees her and starts chasing her to end her. She hides between the woods to escape from the bear but Nehru discovers now she will not escape. She was ready to die because the bear was about to attack her but the bear doesn't attack and stops. Because the predator arrives and there was a heavy fight between them. The predator also bleeds green blood during the fight, but in rage, it punches the bear and kills it. Now it becomes visible when the bear's blood falls on it and seeing it, Nehru becomes astonished. She gets scared and returns to the forest through water while shouting. She finds her tribe people sent by a Nehru's brother to find her then she tells everyone about the predator but none believes her. Nehru becomes enraged and was leaving from there, a boy stops her but she fights with him and beats him. They tie a Nehru so she will not go back into the forest and the predator was seeing all this. Then it comes towards them and attacks them because there were weapons in their hands. It was doing all this through its laser light and the hunters were attacking it while guessing where is it. During this, they see a glimpse of it that was strange because it was wearing a mask. This mask was helping it to end everyone. Everyone was dying one by one and the predator gives him a bad death, getting a chance, Nero opens her rope and runs from there. She comes to a grass field and there she meets a boy from her tribe. The predator can see the humans because of the heat that emits from humans' body. That's why it sees Nehru and that boy hiding in the grass. They escape from there but the predator attacks the boy and ends him. Nehru runs again but her foot gets stuck in a trap. The predator was following her with the intention of killing her but when it realizes she is trapped in a trap, it flees without ending her. Meanwhile, few hunters arrive who have set this trap here. And they hunt those wild cows, now they take Nehru to their camp while making him faint then she finds herself tied when she awakes. Here, a translator says to Nehru that the predator has ended our many people and it is finding a powerful hunter. If you know anything about the predator, do let us know but Nehru refuses and says no I don't know anything about it. Meanwhile, the tribe leader brings Nehru's brother whom they have made a slave and beats him. After it, they tie a Nehru and her brother with a tree, so when the predator will come to attack them they will end it. Then the predator comes in front in its real getup. Nehru tells her brother we don't need to be afraid because the predator doesn't attack in this manner and ends people with weapons. This is its own way as it is against the hunters and it considers a person hunter if he is having a weapon. Her brother asks her to make it injured in the way she injured the lion and the rest will be his task. He says, if it bleeds we can kill it, now the hunters have set the trap already in which the predator's foot stuck. It was brave and powerful so releases itself easily. It becomes furious that it starts attacking everyone one by one even it ends many people in a painful way. 
Nehru cuts her rope and her brother's rope with the help of a blade and they were released. Now her brother moves to bring his horse so they will escape from there. Nehru moves to the camp to bring her dog and the predator leaves throwing the device on the land while turning it on. As the hunters move near the device it opens suddenly and three flying bombs blast from it. The remaining people also die and Nehru reaches the camp where she meets a few hunters. She ends them while attacking them and then moves near her dog and asks it to move to her brother. Meanwhile, the translator arrives who survived but the predator has separated his foot. He says to Nehru, I will give you my gun but in return you have to treat me. Nehru does his treatment and gives him the flower herb and eating it his body becomes cold but then. The predator arrives but it couldn't see the translator as his body becomes cold. The predator places its foot on that translator's leg while leaving and he starts shouting because of pain. The predator discovers him alive so this time it doesn't spare him and ends him. Nehru's brother arrives and attacks Predator's head due to which its mask falls down. The laser light emits from it that falls on the trees and then it attacks Nehru's brother with its weapons. All of its arrows shoot on the tree on which the laser light was falling. Nehru understands after seeing it that how the weapon of the Predator works. Nehru tries to shoot from the translator's gun but it wasn't working. The predator vanishes and ends Nehru's brother brutally but Nehru escapes from there. On another side, a girl tells Nehru's mother that her son is died. Nehru moves near stream and meets a hunter there who survived and she separates his foot while making him faint. She places the translator's gun that wasn't working near him, then eats the flower herb and her body becomes cold. The predator couldn't see Nehru when it comes there. The hunter awakes and picks up the gun but the predator sees him and ends him while attacking him. As it saw gun in that hunter's hand but then Nehru shoots the predator's head from behind. Its mask falls down again and she comes to a place while taking it and fixes a trap through the mask to capture the predator. It reaches there but Nehru attacks it with her axe but the predator throws it far while escaping from it. Nehru comes back once again and attacks with a weapon. It also attacks her in return and there was a terrible fight between them. Nehru escapes from its each attack because she has discovered how its laser works. It can only attack the place where its laser is targeted, this light is kind of eyes for it with which it hunts the front person. Nehru cleverly brings the predator to a place where she has fixed a trap through its mask. Now as it shoots an arrow, the arrow shoots the predator because of the mask. It died because its own laser light falls on it as it was standing in front of it. Its game ended here, which means the predator died. Nehru returns to the...